وإذ تأذن ربكم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم If you are thankful to Allah then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you and give you more No doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us many favors the favors of life itself and the blessings of life itself that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us offspring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us health Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us wealth he has given us eyes that we may see with and that we may look towards that which is beneficial he has given us ears to to hear with and listen to that which is beneficial Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us so many favors subhanallah and how do we repay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving shukr it is obligatory upon us to give shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the shukr of Allah is that we extol his name that we glorify his name that we praise his name that we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to his awamir in regards to his commandments and that we avoid and stay away from his nawahi from his prohibitions glorifying his name praising him thanking him for those numerous bounties that he has given us at the same time staying away from disobedience to him and acts of disobedience Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions wa atakum min kulli ma sa'altumu and he Allah he gave you everything that you requested and that you asked for wa in ta'uddu ni'mata Allah la tuhsuha and if you were to calculate or try to calculate the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you would not be able to enumerate them inna al-insana la zalumun kafar indeed mankind mankind is an ungrateful oppressive wrongdoer that is the case with the majority of mankind illa man rahima rabbuk except for those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with his mercy the greater majority of mankind however then they are zalumun kafar they are ungrateful in regards to the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are rejectors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's benefits if we were to just take one of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with and then try to enumerate the many benefits that you get and that you receive from just that one benefit you would not be able to truly you would not be able to truly calculate that blessing the blessing of sight imagine if your lord removed from you your sight how many things you would not be able to uh, achieve or attain benefit from whether it be opening up the book of allah or opening up the book of the scholars or opening up a book of hadith and reading it with by your own self or whether it be by looking at your family and taking blessing and taking joy from the beauty of your wife or from the beauty of your children And if it be that you came here today by way of your car then abandon your car because you would not be able to drive the thing you would not be able to drive your car due to not having sight how many more benefits do you attain from just this one blessing just this one single blessing you could not enumerate it if you tried so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be thanked and it is an obligation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is be, is to be thanked because indeed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting you this ni'ma this blessing you do not want that blessing to turn into its opposite i.e. a nikma that it turns into calamity and that it turns into punishment and that it turns into hardship and and and, and hardship upon you so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be thanked for those many numerous blessings those ma dhahara minha wa ma batana that which is apparent from them and that which is hidden from from them that which you know and that which you can establish and that which you cannot even figure out allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be thanked for that qala subhanahu wa ta'ala wa id ta'adhana rabbukum la in shakartum la azidannakum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and remember when your lord proclaimed if you are thankful to allah la azidannakum then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you and give you more so if you want more of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the favors of Allah upon you then give thanks for those blessings before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes them from you before Allah strips them from you and takes them from you and you are unable to benefit from the blessing that he that he bestowed upon you 
wala in kafartum inna adhab shadid however if you reject those favors and you turn away from those favors then know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment is severe that Allah grants you these favors as a blessing upon you and by way of your obedience to him and if you take those blessings and you abuse them then Allah will strip them from you Allah will remove them from you because you are not deserving of them and Allah will do it as a means of reprimand so that the servant can reflect and look upon the blessing that he has lost and return back to the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hope that he turns back to the obedience of Allah and turns to Allah in repentance and glorifies Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that blessing that he had that blessing that he was given then it is necessary that he praises Allah glorifies Allah for it thanks Allah for it and gives gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those favors